Let's get right to our top story at this hour. A tractor trailer crash early this morning will cause some delays for drivers in Putnam County. That's the second bad accident on Route 35 in just 24 hours. 13 News reporter Mackenzie Cook joins us live from the scene with the latest. Mackenzie, good afternoon. Shannon, good afternoon. Cleanup crew still on scene here after a tractor trailer carrying drive axles lost control and flipped over just before 7 a.m. this morning. But as you mentioned, this is causing more issues for drivers along Route 35 in just a matter of 24 hours. There was lots of damage to this tractor trailer, but luckily the driver made it out with no injuries. Traffic is running smoothly on both Route 35 and the Buffalo Bridge right now, but they will be shutting both down shortly while all crews move the tractor trailer off the road. They began this process about 9 a.m. this morning, and West Virginia Department of Transportation is estimating it could be a little while before the roads are reopened. This seems to be a problem area for some reason. Uh, typically, it's folks going too fast. I don't know if that was the case here. Uh, foggy this morning, so visibility is an issue. Uh, don't know if the load shifted in it or what, but uh, he ended up on his side. Harper said it was lucky that the tractor trailer landed where it did rather than in the middle of Route 35. But right now, crews are telling me that they are planning on moving this tractor trailer in about an hour, which means both 35 and the Buffalo Bridge will be completely shut down. And they're estimating it could take about an hour or so to do that, but try to avoid the area if possible. In Putnam County, Mackenzie Cook, 13 News, working for you. Shannon. Mackenzie, thanks. Thank goodness that nobody was hurt.